Yo, so this is how you could potentially make a million dollars in 2024. Listen up closely. The first thing you need to do is get you an LLC that is very vital in business. You need to have an LLC. All right, if you don't know how to get one, this is the best website to get one, inkfile.com. I'll leave it in the description below. But you can come here. You can hit Start My Business. All right, you pick the entity. You need to pick LLC. Now, the difference between the LLC and the X Corp is the tax benefits that you get with uh, each one. But you only you only want to go S Corp when you're making over fifty thousand dollars a year. Uh, then you know you could transfer to an S Corp. Um, but you pick your state. So, for instance, I'll pick Oklahoma because that's where I'm currently at right now. And then they give you these different packages, right? So I usually choose the most expensive because it gives you all the stuff. I'm sure you can read all of the stuff that it gives you. Uh, you'll be able to also sign up after that to get a business email and a business, uh, a virtual address, which is dope for business credit later on. All right. So this is the best package. Definitely do it. You'll be able to log in and see all your information. Okay. The next thing you want to do, all right, is get your credit fixed. I say this a million times, but you have to do it. All right. You have to do it. Credit is going to come in when you want to get that nice car, when you want to do no money down, no money down on your dream cars. Like you ain't got to, you know what I'm saying? Interest rate be popping. Um, when you want to get a house and better interest rates, all that stuff is going to play a part. So you have to get your credit fixed. It's also going to help you to be able to invest like the banks. All right. So whenever you uh, are looking to get your credit fixed, if you're just starting, you want to do a secured credit card okay secured meaning you have to put your own money on the credit card and then from there uh you will use it for gas you'll use it for small purchases maybe some hot chips out the stove i don't care what you use it for but just use it small and then pay it off like that right and do that for six months consistently and once you do that you will get they will send you your deposit back your six hundred dollars or whatever you put on the card 250 or whatever they'll send you that back and then give you their money on the card the bank's money right so now it's unsecured from there you're able to do the exact same things now there is something once you go unsecured there is something called manufactured spending right so whenever you sign up for certain credit cards they will say hey if you spend five thousand dollars in the first three months we will give you a hundred thousand uh points and points can be turned into cash. So basically, you can cash those points out into actual cash into your bank account, or you can use them for airline miles and taking free trips. So in order to get, you know, in order to spend the five thousand, let's say you you don't have the bills to cover five thousand, or you don't really want to spend five thousand, uh, credit card companies now I know Chase Freedom Unlimited has it. Uh, I know Navy Federal Cards have it to where you can transfer your entire credit card balance straight to your checking account. Right. You could just transfer it straight to your checking account, meaning you could just basically just pull the money off the credit card straight to your checking. So uh, you could do it that way. You could pull the balance off. All right. Pull five thousand off into your checking. Let it sit there for a little bit, a couple, three, two, three days. Move it right back. It's going to look like you just paid the card back off. Boom. You get the points. All right. So you could do it that way. You could do it the cash app way where you can link your credit card to cash app. Send somebody some money right from the credit card. They send it right back to you and boom. You got it like that. All right. So now you're getting points, airline miles. I only recommend cars that you can get uh, rewards points and airline miles. But like I said, credit is going to play a major factor in investing and all this stuff is going to give you the money to invest. So you don't have to invest your own money. You just have to be very wise with how you use it. And boom. All right. The next thing you want to get, and this is very important. It's so easy to do. You want to get a millionaire mentor. Now you probably thinking, how the heck I'm going to do that? I'm broke. I ain't got no money. I'm going to tell you, listen, I got mentored by Master P. I got mentored by Gary V, E.T. the Hip Hop Preacher. I got mentored by uh, Him 500, everybody. I mean, you, the, the list goes on. Haitian CEO, all the big people I done got mentored by. And you want to know how? I ain't even pay for not a single membership. YouTube.com backslash. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Now, YouTube.com, y'all. So a lot of y'all, what I've noticed is a lot of people watch a lot of podcasts, right? And they just used to just trying to get all this in your head, right? No, that's not the way to do it. All right. The way to do it is to watch podcasts. This is how you can soak information up and really vitalize. Because what I notice is when people give out game for free, a lot of people don't value it. Most people do not value free, right? Because they just, nah, they just giving out game. They just used to scrolling and going to the next and the next and the next person, right? 
the thing that you can do is start taking notes. All right, and I'm about to show you what I mean. So I have this long list of mentors that I take notes. I watch podcasts and I take detailed notes. You see, it's a whole lot of notes from a bunch of different speakers, a bunch of different people, right? And I take detailed notes. The reason why I do that is because they're giving out the game. So I, I saw a post like some years back where they was like, do you want to have dinner with Jay-Z or uh, get 500000 or a million dollars or whatever? And I'm thinking like, I don't even need to have dinner with Jay-Z. All I got to do is watch his, his interviews. These people are giving you the game. You have to learn how to research, right? So Jay-Z said something about credit in his songs. He talks about credit a lot. He talks about uh, real estate. He talks about art. He talks about watches and things like that and how to and like what he used to invest in them and stuff like that. They're not going to give you the entire game. You have to go do the research after that. So I'm getting key points. I'm getting websites. I'm hearing, I'm listening like, okay, well, they go here. They go to Fiverr to get thumbnails. They go, you know, to Fiverr to get video editors. They might, you know, they might get this certain credit card or they might have to go here to get business credit. And, and they just giving you little bits and pieces. And if you watch enough interviews of the same person, they'll eventually, it's going to eventually come to some, some crazy game. You know what I'm saying? And so you're going to have all this information uh, that you can then go out there and use it. They're going to tell you to get an LLC, just like I'm telling you. They're going to tell you to get business credit, you know, and operate on the business side of things. They're going to tell you about life insurance and how to flip it. They're going to tell you about all these different things. And all you have to do is take notes on it, just like school, right? And now you have the game, like I said, and all you have to do is listen for keywords. If you don't know what it means, you just write it down in your notes and then you go look it up. Hmm, what's whole life insurance? Let me go look that up. What's that about? You don't have to, everybody don't got to give you the game. You really don't have to buy a course unless you want to, which I do recommend, <clears throat> you know, certain people buy their course, you know, dissect it, get the information and apply it. That's the thing. Most people do not apply the information. If you apply the information that you're getting instead of just receiving information all day, because some people just like to consume information all day and they never apply none of it. So get you a millionaire mentor, find, you know, at least five of them online that you could just dissect Look at everything they do, guys, literally, how they post, how often they post online, uh, what they're talking about. Why did you get attracted to them? You know why most people get attracted to people? The value they provide. If you haven't realized that, the value is what's uh, making you attracted to that person. They're giving out so much game that you want to follow them. Why are they giving out so much game? One, because they definitely, you know, a lot of them want to help. Number two is because... If they give you enough free game, you're going to be obligated. You're going to feel obligated to buy something from them. That's just psychologically. That's how humans work. You giving me all this stuff for free, bro. When you come out with a product, boom. Which brings me to my next thing. Products. You need to have a product. How are you going to get rich without a product? Listen, look around my room right now. Look everywhere. This keyboard, product, right? This microphone is a product. Water, product, my phone, product, this camera I'm on, product, all this stuff is products, million dollar products that people are getting rich off of. Now, I'm sorry if I was looking at this screen because I can see myself, but these are million dollar products that people are getting rich from, right? So you need to come up with your own product to sell, right? Number one, you need to have your own product at least. At least one or two of your own product, whatever that is, it's nothing new under the sun. You don't got to reinvent the wheel. There's a million things and millions of ideas out there. You can copy and do the same thing and just switch it up into your own way. The reason why I say that is because you got to look at water. How many brands of water is it? It's water, bro. <laughs> How many brands is it, though? A million brands of water. The bread in the store. It's a million of the same thing with different names. So it's like... There's no competition for real. That's all in your head. There's nothing new under the sun. Like, that's what the Bible say, right? So come up with a product and re relabel it. Like, you can, you can, like, it's so many different things you can do that, and add your own spin on it, right? So when Blockbuster was here, right, then they came out with Redbox. Redbox was the little red, you know, thing that you have outside of Walgreens and stuff that people used to go in there with movies. Same concept, added their own spin to it. Then from Redbox, we went to Netflix. Same concept. Added their own spin to it. Nothing new under the sun. You see what I'm saying? So come up with your own product and then 
learn how to do affiliate marketing as well, which is marketing other people's products, right? If you learn how to market other people's products, y'all, it's a wrap. Don't be afraid to be on camera. Don't be afraid to grow a brand. I'm going to give you a website right now to go to if you want a logo. It's called, and we're going to go, we're going to type it in. It's a million websites out there. You can do it on Canva as well, but postermywall.com. All right. We still in affiliate marketing, but I got to teach you how to, you know, get a logo. So type in logo when you go here. All right. These are all logos that are free there. These are nobody else's logo. These are just templates and you can make it your own. There's millions of them. All right. As I'm scrolling through, you can see there's millions. All you got to do, click the design you like, change the colors and put the name that you want uh, it to say. My bad. I'm shaking the camera. But put the color that you like and the name that you want it to say, right? And they got a bunch. I mean, there's a millions and millions. So I could just click on this one. Let's say edit design. And boom. I can move stuff around. I could change the colors. I could change the name. I could do whatever I want to, right? And from there, you got yourself a name, a brand, and everything is good, right? So then you find a product to sell. There's a million and one thing. Affiliate marketing has to be like the dopest thing ever. Let me tell you how cold affiliate marketing is, y'all. Affiliate marketing is so cold that you can drive Lambos, Ferraris, McLarens without owning none of them. Whoops. <clears throat> without owning none of them. How, how, how could you do that? Let me tell you. So this is what you can do. Um, you can build, you find basically find a local exotic car place in your city. Right. So if you're in Miami, you got it. If you're in Houston or Texas or somewhere, you got it because they got it in Oklahoma. We don't really got that. But you can find any of those places, right, that like rent cars out. Right. You can Google it. Find it. Okay. They rent cars out. You can become a broker. Right. You can build a website with the same cars they got. Now, first of all, you got to go. You can go talk to them first and say, hey, I want to be a broker. I want to send you more clients. Is that is that something I can do? Is that possible? Right. And if they give you the, the green light and OK, because a lot of people like they need more businesses, they need more business anyway. So they say, OK, yeah, that's that's a go. So, boom, now I built the website, all the cars you got. I just charge a fee on top of what you charge. Right. Got this game from Pushman Mitch, one of the mentors. All right. Shouts to Pushman. Uh, but you can, you know, make a deal, cut a deal with the broker. Right. And make your website. Char like if they charging you know five hundred a day, you charge seven hundred a day, right? You get your two hundred dollar commission. Uh, they call it. Let, let's say you have a number on your website. They call it. You get a VA, a virtual assistant. I'm gonna show you where you can get those at. All right, onlinejobs.ph because this is where I got my assistant from. Shout out to my dope, the dopest assistant ever, Allison. Dope. You know what I'm saying? Been having her for three years. Uh, onlinejobs.ph these are uh, a lot of Filipino uh, workers. So what I do is I go here, I vet them out. You know, I pick pick a couple. I do a, a Zoom call and see, you know, tell them kind of what I do, this, that, and the third, what I like, what I don't like, you know, stuff like that. And you could just search and find you a dope virtual assistant that you can trust, right? Like I said, I've been having mine for like three and a half years now. Dope. And so uh, you have the virtual assistant whenever they call that number, the virtual assistant will answer the phone, right? And then the virtual assistant will then contact the actual uh, car company, right? And send the lead to them. And whenever the, the deal goes through, boom, you get your $200 and, and they get the car. It, I mean, you know what I'm saying? They, they pay them, they cut you your check and boom. And you can do that with real estate. You could do that with any other business. I mean, this is what I be trying to tell people. I'm like, you could be an affiliate um, on Forex. You could be affiliate on uh, binary options. You can be an affiliate on the prop firms. Like we all know this stuff, y'all. It's there. It's just it's just word of mouth. It's nothing new under the sun. It's all just word of mouth. So if a, a restaurant is good and you go tell the homie, hey, bro, the restaurant down the street, fire. They're like, which one? You tell them. You're not getting paid for that, but that's affiliate marketing. You know what I'm saying? So it's the exact same thing. And there's so many different plays with it that you can really eat off of it. All right? So let's keep it moving. I did. I have a little little notes that I just want to make sure I cover everything. 
Oh, boom. Now what you got affiliate marketing. Now that you got credit, millionaire mentor, you're getting all this game. You need to learn how to run ads. Now, Facebook ads is fire. Instagram ads is fire. YouTube ads is fire. All right. You need to be able to run the ads. Now, with the business credit or the personal credit, depending on how you want to do it, you can use the credit card to run the ads, right? And now that you're running the ads, of course, you get, you know, the, the points and all that, but you're able to scale your ads. So what I recommend doing is whenever you run an ad, you run like two or three at the same time. Whichever one is getting the most traction, the most attention, that's the one you scale. That's the one you add the big bag to. So you can start out at $5 a day. You can start out at $10 a day, however you want to do it. Whichever one is getting the most traction, then you scale that up. So now I'm going to dump a thousand dollars on this ad and let it run. I'm going to let it go. You know what I'm saying? And then, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, let me, th let me show y'all this. Cause I just found that shout out to push man Mitch again. Got to get credit where it's due. Cause that's where I found it at. Uh, <clears throat> mini chat. All right. So mini chat, let's go to mini chat.com. Boom. Mini chat is where I know I know a lot of y'all see those ads on Instagram um where you will see you know that you will see the influencer saying something and then they say comment this word below right and somebody will comment it below and then they'll instantly get a message to their inbox that's mini chat so mini chat very powerful tool so while you're running ads or while you're going live on Instagram or wherever it is right you set up this campaign Whenever somebody types a word, so for instance, for example, I'm gonna say, "Yo, if you want my free forex course, type type forex in the comment section, right? Not literally, but this is give you an example. Type forex in the comment section, and you will receive an instant uh, inbox, right? So they put in forex, and they get sent the instant inbox of my course while I'm still on the live or while I'm still doing the video or whatever, which is fire. So that's mini chat, and you could use that uh, when you're running ads and stuff like that. And is it gonna trigger? And, they, and it's automation, right? So automation is key in your business, period. I've been doing automation forever, um, email lists and all that stuff. Another dope thing you need to do is build an email list. So you can go to a couple different uh, websites. I use Kajabi. I use lead pages. Uh, you can use ClickFunnels, right? Uh, all of these different pl places. And I'll, like I said, I can link all this stuff in the description below. But you can use all of these different things uh, to capture emails the reason why emails is so dope and it's not old school it still work to this day um is everybody checks their emails especially grown folks you know you get an email from a job or from a school if you got kids you, you got to check it you know what i'm saying back and forth and so it's always good the best thing you want to do in your emails is not just push products all day all right you want to provide a lot of value so in a certain niche you can look up blogs you can look up anything that you're researching at the time and if it's valuable to you you can just share it with your with your people right you share it with them you share it with them you share it with them and then eventually if you want to promote a product they'll be more prone to to buy something from you because they know like and trust you the next thing you need to make sure you do is always tell your testimony always tell your story right facts tell story sell all right so if somebody is if if, if you're looking up to buy from somebody, you're not going to buy from them based off of, oh, they got a Lambo. No, you're going to buy from them because I know their story. You know, I followed them. I, I saw it. You know, I, I actually did. So you want to always tell your story no matter how crucial and bad you think it is. It's always going to help somebody else, right? Because people think, oh, man, my story is too crazy. I don't think people are going to resonate with that. But in all reality, there's an audience out there for you. You know what I'm saying? There's always going to be an audience out there for you. God gave you the gift. He gave you the testimony to tell. So make sure you're telling your story and telling your testimony because you get people to know, like, and trust you, right? And the best thing you could do uh, in 2024 to be a multimillionaire is just be yourself, right? Be honest. You know, really want to help people. People can sense when you're just in it for the money and stuff like that. Like, really have a heart to help people. And always be a giver. You know what I'm saying? Once you start making a little money, give. You know what I'm saying? And, and give back to the people. Give back to your community. And just have a heart and a spirit for giving, man. This is some real game right here, y'all. This is all the things that I've done uh, to, to obtain the success that I've obtained. And another, another great thing, well, I can keep going forever, but you need to have goals. Write down your goals. Write them down on paper. Write them down on sticky notes. Write it in your phone. The house you want. And be very specific, 
right? Be very specific because you have to be goal driven in order to get things done. If you don't have no goals, no aspirations, you're just going to be out here doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? If you got to love what you do as well. So you need to have goals. You need to write down that dream house that you want. I mean, the square footage of that thing. I'm talking about the pool in the back, the balcony, all the way up to the three, four car garage. I need to be specific. All right. You have not because you ask not is what the Bible says. So if you want all these things, you got to do it and you got to put God first. Of course, you got to have God first at the head of your life, uh, you know, because he's going to be the one to make it possible. All the things in this world is his anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it's nothing for him to give it to his child. You know what I mean? So with all these things, y'all, like I'm telling you, do this exactly how I'm telling you. Do it and do it for a long time. Outwork, outlast, out strategize, right? Don't be scared to get on camera. Don't be scared to do business. Don't be scared of what people going to think about you. None of that stuff, y'all, because it don't matter. Everybody going to hate anyway. If you ain't realize that by now, everybody going to hate anyway. I saw a newborn baby on YouTube, and they hated on that. How you going to hate on a newborn baby, bro? It's crazy. And just remember, they hated Jesus. So they're, they're, they definitely not going to like your regular self. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to like you no way. I don't care what you do. I don't care how much good you do, how much you give. People just not going to like you, and you got to be okay with that. You know what I'm saying? Stop trying to figure it out. Stop trying to wreck your brain with it and all that. Because that's what, that's what stops a, people, a lot of people from trying to make millions or trying to go to the next level because they're worried about everybody else and what they think about them. No, what did God think about you? That's the only thing that matters. What your family think about you, like your kids and stuff like that. That's what matters. Not this internet. You feel me? So if you want to make an M, I'm telling you, credit, affiliate marketing, all that stuff, bro. Do it. Do it now. Don't wait till 2024. Do it now. By 2024, your life should look different than what it do right now, man. Holla at your boy.